current state of the behemoths in cow of dragons i think this topic people are not that much talking about this topic but i i still start see big difference in the behemoth fights uh of course first we have to mention that the game actually provides us with very decent alliance technology that you can easily go and go at the behemoth layer fight go back and so on this is this technology I think most of the people are familiar with this <clears throat> is this layer teleport activates teleportation near behemoth layers creating layer portal and allowing alliance member legions to be deployed instantly at the layer i think this is great feature in cow dragons especially when you're splitted uh, for example you're fighting on one place but you want to make attempts on the behemoth which is in the other corner of the world and so on so yeah, there is a huge improvement there. Uh, there is no second opinion. This is great. The next great thing is uh, you can feel on normal. You can put as many legions as you can on normal behemoth fight, which is again uh, absolutely great. Since some alliances struggle, uh, for example, they have uh, tier four people who is not familiar with the behemoth. And it's becoming very, very hard for them to actually defeat the Behemoth. So, yeah, I think this is also a great feature. Back in the days, if I remember correctly, for the Hydra, for example, since I struggled the Hydra the most, <laughs> there was like 40 people that can go in this Behemoth layer. But right now you can bring the whole alliance. And this is absolutely great since this season the Dragon is very hard but so far this is the good things and i think the things that the game improve a lot now the other things is uh the behemoth is becoming strong and i have uh, one conversation with a couple of the players about the behemoths and how the things go there first you can bring as many legions as you can in the lair but in the same time most of the behemoths have aoe damaging hitting spells for example, Frost Dragon, he makes us uh, one, how to say it, half circle. Then you have to go inside in this circle after he casts his spell. I'm not so familiar with the names of the spells, but most of the people can agree that the Behemoths have AoE spells. Some Behemoths strongly depend on the specific player playing, uh, since one player can basically wipe out like 10 or even 15 uh, legions out. So yeah, the behemoths change a lot and mainly is changing uh, the thing that you need better survivability for the behemoths. So I strongly suggest people when they go for behemoth fight, get a uh, HP ruins uh, mana stone, get, uh, get a defense mana stone. I think it's going to help you greatly in the behemoth fight since in this season SOB2 uh, the behemoths require huge survivability. I mean, the damage is not an issue, but those behemoths request a huge survivability. And I'm going to go short over each of the behemoths and maybe just give some second opinion how hard is this behemoth. I'm going to go first over the bear. From the season one, we have the bear. It should be no issue for anybody. Even in the first three seasons, we also have a deer bear. The main mechanic of the bear is just charge so people should already be trained to avoid the charge or you can go alone in the lair and train yourself <laughs> over the charge to not get hit by the bear but so far the bear is easy boss period it's easy one i think everybody gets the bear on elite now the important thing about the behemoths uh, something i have to mention this is mostly for alliance leaders and blah 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 is First, you get a behemoth, you get rewards. After when you defeat the behemoth on elite, you get rewards again. And these behemoths are doing great damage in the fights when you push specific choke point or when your lances do a push. Even a simple things like, for example, enemy is destroying this tower. This is for example, and you can just summon a behemoth here. Now, some people are going to say it's something stupid. There is nothing going in the hospital, blah, blah, blah. But at least 300k troops go in the hospital. And if you're in the war times, uh, all troop count. All troop count. So just by summoning a behemoth to put something in your 
uh, in your hospital is with crucial importance. Also, the behemoths, uh, when you level up at the summoning time, where is the summoning time? Is the summoning time, summoning skill, clock down. I think it's 8 hour, something like this. I'm not quite sure since I'm not an uh, officer from long time. I think officer job is like a second job. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think so. 8 hours. So you can basically summon the behemoth 3 times per day. So it's not an issue. And if you have the bad boy on elite, this is going to bring a huge difference. Since the normal one are doing some damage. But the elite one are doing way more damage way more time since the normal one is like five minutes i think the elite one is like 12 minutes so it's increasing the duration also increasing the all the status so it's with crucial importance analysis to have this behemoth so the next behemoth maybe i'm going to say is the frost giant now frost giant again maybe the most hard part for this one is when he target a specific player and shot the ball i think this is the most hard for uh hard Apart from this boss, it's mostly like one shot if they if he catch you with this laser uh, snowball. But uh, yeah, I think more and more people become familiar with the um, Frost Giant since Frost Giant is one of the new behemoths back in the days. It's not the original season one behemoth. So yeah, the survivability here is more tactic, less damage. Right now you have. To have in some of the behemoths some mage legion some marksman legion the behemoth become immune to magic a specific percentage immune to physical on specific percentage you can <clears throat> always go and check it out the elite rights and see what is the description there as you can see when behemoth have more 75 percent is immune to magic 25 percent um at the end is immune to physical attack so it's also start involving mages in this fight same i can say for necro giant but we're going to go for necro giant now the behemoth number three is the thunder rock i think this is the most important behemoth uh in this season since this behemoth is giving a five percent extra attack legion attack five percent now further we're going to see that some other behemoths also give uh, this type of buffs but this is one of the most important uh, buffs. Now for the Thunder Rock, uh, there is so many mechanics here. One person can wipe out maybe the half half of the right here. Uh, especially when he's in the flank phase and uh, shot these balls. Anyway, I'm not going to go that much in the specific and how to do the Behemoth. It's just overview. I think the Thunder Rock become also uh, hard in Cow Dragons. Mostly is for survivability. You need fast positioning. Some of the behemoths you need a lot of march speed, <laughs> especially for the Thunder Rock. When she is flying, <coughs> or she, when she is throwing two bows, and make this uh, field electricity, you basically have to move in other directions so you don't get pushed in this electricity field. And blah blah blah. You have to gather fast for the mana stone since. Every second this behemoth is in the sky is healing himself and this is yeah very very bad. Anyway, this is the Thunder Rock. I, I think it's still very do doable uh creature. Now let's go for the behemoth that I think people struggle from the season one. And this is the Hydra. Now Hydra have one uh have a, one spell that is maybe the spell that is with most crucial importance and again here is survivability for the hydra absolutely i don't want to see hydra anymore but i have now no issue to go for um for the normal one now i think most of the people are familiar what the hydra do this is a behemoth from the season one the main mechanics is there now the problem with the hydra is when she's under specific percentage i think she get this green thing around her and this thing is doing huge amount of damage this is maybe the behemoth since you also have a stacks and blah 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 this is the behemoth that need the most survivability that you can have from your legions here definitely you have to be have i don't know big survivability your legion have to survive somehow and it's not like you can avoid like the giant that he throw the this bow you can just go in another direction this is aoe area of damage 
that um, this behemoth is doing and is hitting all the legions so it's very very hard uh, some of the alliances with 7 billion power for example kpt struggle a lot with this uh, hydra we take our hydra i don't remember after how much tries but we take our hydra this that that was our hydra but now it's for the vp this we get pushed from the zone 3 and this hydro hydro we didn't manage to do it <laughs> it just the behemoths become so strong so strong it's mechanic people should learn the mechanic but come on this is a behemoth from the season one i think at least people have seen other people how they do it but yeah it is what it is it's just survivability stuff here going to the next behemoth maybe i have to mention this is the necro giant here again you need some mage to tank giant you need marksmans mostly go for marksmans marksmans have the biggest damage in cow dragons period so if you want to go with mages there should be definitely great reason behind uh, maybe tanking tanking the giant or maybe for the frost giant after 25 percent you have to have mages there and stuff like this but i think everybody should go with marksmans and this behemoth i think again is from season one most of the people should be familiar with this behemoth and the random spells this guy this uh, this behemoth is trolling now this behemoth is doable uh you maybe if you struggle you just need little more work since it's different spells it's not like same spells this behemoth is uh pushing on you uh putting on you it's different spells so at some point maybe you gain, you're gonna get lucky combo of correct of right spells and you're going to do this back mode now on the elite <laughs> maybe i'm not going to talk on elite it's just overview over the back mods but uh, still and finally in season sob we have the frost dragon the frost dragon now this thing is getting a little hard again again a lot of aoe a lot of coordination a lot of precision a lot of everything this is not like the season one or the tamaris uh fire dragon fire dragon is easy peasy seriously it's easy peasy this one is like five times more hard from the first one the first one you just go with mages and you do it here you basically need a lot of coordination between all the members in your alliance but at some point uh, you're going to do it uh, as AC did it. They have some struggles. Some of the people was not familiar, and especially for the dragons, is uh, not many people have experience with the dragons, and this is completely normal since this is not something that you're going to have in each zone. This is the top alliance, the top of the food chain that is getting basically the rewards, dragon rewards, the winning side have an opportunity to fight and the winning alliance so if you're not part from this alliance it's going to be hard for you um the first tries uh, over this behemoth and it's not easy but congratulations to ac they managed to do it gg on that uh and the final one is <coughs> sorry about that <coughs> is the magma i think the magma is maybe the most easy maybe after the bear i think the magma is very easy you just kill them one by one and you have the time you have the time to do it is not something uh after five minutes there is an rage timer i mean there is an enrage timer but you have plenty of time to do it and you you just what you do here is kill them one by one you kill this one uh after this you kill this one there is a stacks when you get like four stacks you move to the next behemoth uh and you kill them the good thing about the magma is there is a lot of mana stones here. There is just a lot of mana stones here. Uh, not mana stones, sorry, healing stones. And by having a lot of healing stones, you're going to heal your troops. Of course, these be behemoths need more tanks. We have to start from there. You just need a lot of tanks, like eight tanks. But it's pretty much easy and doable. And yeah, I guess this will be for the behemoths. Uh, this is my personal opinion over the current state of the behemoths it need a lot of survivability definitely we are not all tier 5 but the good thing is i start see uh more and more people start opening the tier 5 especially for example wall spenders and blah 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 they start opening tier 5 so i think we are in the good direction and at some point this behemoth is going to become 
one idea more easy. Of course, the game, uh, the Cow Dragons can change the mechanics. Maybe some of the main mechanics can be replaced with something different, but this don't matter. So I guess this will be for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you do hit one like, uh, subscribe to the channel. If you're new to this channel, become part of the membership of this channel and join the Burgi gang if you didn't, didn't already do. And see you in the next video.